Hello, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics coming to you this week with a video all about COVID-19 updates. In the last COVID-19 update video, I did talk about the Pfizer vaccine mainly, and that's because I deal with that vaccine more often at work. Now, there are other vaccines, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson, and today we're going to cover the uniquely unapproved Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. Now, this J&J &J vaccine is very unique because it is a one-dose series, while the other vaccine, Moderna and Pfizer, are a two-dose series. This vaccine is approved for ages 8. 18 and above only as of now. Just like the other vaccines, the J&J &J has to be stored in the freezer. But upon using, you can thaw it out in the refrigerator, which is supposed to be kept at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it can sit out for up to six hours at room temperature after the vial has been punctured. Each dose is 0.5 milliliters and is to be given intramuscularly, which is going to be in the deltoid. Possible side effects that you can see, it's kind of the common ones, pain in the arm, the tenderness, the red in that injection area, the swelling of the arm, and also the common symptoms of coronavirus, your fever, your chills, your nausea, your headache, all of those good things. Now, there is a rare side effect, which has been seen recently in women from ages 18 to 50 years old. And it is called TTS, which is thrombosis, thrombocytopenia syndrome. This is basically serious blood clots associated with low blood platelets. There was a pause in the administration of the J&J &J vaccine. But of course it was resumed because the benefits outweigh the risks. It is still safe for women to receive this vaccine as well as women that are planning to become pregnant, pregnant or who are recently pregnant and are breastfeeding. TTS has not been seen with the other two vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, but that does not mean that those two vaccines are superior than the J&J. &J. Studies are still being conducted with all of the vaccines, especially J&J. &J. So this is not an all-inclusive list of the possible side effects that can occur. But if you do have a severe allergic reaction or severe side effects, make sure that you call 911 or go to your nearest healthcare provider or hospital to be treated. I will also list information on how to report those incidents and where to report those incidents in the description box down below. As always, there's a lot of valuable information down in the description box that can be helpful to you and a bunch of juicy resources that can help you with just anything pharmacy. So make sure you check that information out at the end of the video. And always remember to keep your COVID card with you that is issued by the CDC when you do get your vaccination. Now, if you all would like me to make a video about the preparation in the administration of the J&J &J vaccine, make sure you comment that down below. If this information was helpful to you, comment that as well, or just give me a simple thumbs up because I would greatly appreciate that as well. If you have not done so already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos that I post throughout the week. Again, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics. I hope that you all have a busy and blissful day.